Welcome back my children to another Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery video. I will be starting the new adventure. Welcome to the Slug Club. There's three days and 15 hours left and it started earlier in the day when I finished chapter 10. I was gonna record after after I finished the previous video which was uh, year 4 chapter 10 but I ended up doing something else. But uh, it's the same day regardless but uh, a lot of hours after. Anyways, when the Hollyhead Harpies come to Hogwarts, none other than Agnog Jones will ask you to help her locate her old pro potions professor, Horace Slughorn. If you do, you may very well earn an invite to his elite out-of-hours social club, as well as a new outfit and a unique hourglass pen pendant. Which is... I'm, I'm assuming the... the Hourglass pendant is the one that's shown right here with the snakes. Actually looks very cool. So that's the thing I'm looking forward to the most. But it part four only shows the outfit as the reward, so I'm not quite sure. But I guess you get both things, I'm assuming. Anyway, there's four parts and I'm gonna start off with the first part, of course, task one out of four. But first I'm gonna collect the energies for my pets. So Catsper and then the others. That's all of them. Very cool. Also, I'm going to quickly change to Gecko Bremen Trains since he has the little Christmas hat. Yes, there we go. Also, what do I have here? I got something new. Alright, the outfit from earlier when I bought the, the milestone rewards. I uh, kind of forgot what they're called. These things. So let's see, there's a hair as well. There we go. So that's the full outfit. I'm just realizing I forgot to show it in the previous video. But uh, there. I don't like the pants. Let me see if I could... I mean, I am able to. But uh, does it look good with the pants alike? Where's the pants alike? Oh, there they are. Um... Okay, maybe the dress pants, the ones I like as well. Yeah, it looks a little better. Alright, uh, no wonder it's not looking good. It's because of the stupid hair. There we go, let's see. Does that look good? Yeah, that doesn't look so bad, I guess. Should I wear it for the, the new adventure? Uh, yeah, it also matches. I could bring insurance quite a bit since he's green and he has the little red hat. So yeah, I'll keep it. Oh my goodness, come on. Damn it. Okay, where's the shirt? Whatever it was. There it is. Yeah, I'll keep it. Anyways. Oh, okay, some... No, not that. There's something here. What is that? It's five food. I'm not going to start the one sense potion yet. Or should I start it right now? Actually, yeah, I'll just start it right now. So, scavenger hunt for one cent. So, let's see what's the first clue. Overdue books must be returned immediately. Obviously, the library. Where else can it be? So, that one is very easy. I swear if I get it wrong. Alright, that's done. Anything else? The carnival prices are still active. Uh, I have 648 tickets. It ends in 13 hours 48 minutes, which is... Let me think. Like around 5 p.m. tomorrow, I'm assuming. Yeah, I should have enough time to come back and... Uh, depending if I get... Uh, enough tokens to get all the tickets right now in a bit. Then I still have to try to finish to collect stars. And yeah, pretty much it. Actually, I did not check if there's anything new here. No, not really. Alright. On to the, the task. Meet under the thousand at the Great Hall. Um... Rowan, Benton, Barney, and Tulip the Flower are together. 
for some reason. Then there's one cent alone with some other kids. Stupid Marola right there. Then under three thousand right there. Why do I have to meet under three thousand out of all people? It could have been one cent or two per flower. All right, I'm gonna start off with this person. Oh, it's row one. Okay. The whole the whole school's talking about something, but I've been studying all morning, so I don't know what it is. Of course, because you're a loser. I don't recognize anybody else around here. Alright, um, actually I'll do one cent last. Next is Marula. It's so annoying when everyone else is excited about what I'm excited about. Yeah, nobody cares. And no nobody knows what you're excited about. Then one cent. Did you talk, did you talk to 100,000 yet? He said he was looking for you. I'm about to right now. There he is. Hi, 100,000. You had something you wanted to tell me? Honestly, I can't believe you haven't you haven't heard it already. It's the most exci ex it's the most exciting thing since Muggles started wearing turtle turtlenecks. I, I didn't know that was exciting. I'm not sure what the, what that means, but I'll admit that you've made me curious. Actually, no. You're going to love it, Father. Trust me, it's just a big deal for Quidditch players like me. Everyone's talking about it, so I'd, I'll gather our friends, and we can all tell you the big news together. Oh wow, why not have me meet up all of you together in the first place, instead of talking to me alone first? Discover the big news. One hour, okay, at least it's one hour. I'll accept it. Okay, there we are. Um, okay, cool, I'm next to one cent, I was like... I was not able to see where I was at first. It would have been better if Tulip of Flowers next to me instead of Stupid Marula. Anyways, let's see. Anybody, anything else over there? No. There's a black Gibby over there. Another black Gibby. At least I think that's Gibby. Alright, I'm going to start off with Barney. Laugh. I'm not sure what we're talking about, but it sounds great. Ignore. I can't be... I can't be seen with any of you once the famous players arrive. Nod. Quite a lot of exciting things happen at Hogwarts, but this takes the cake. What cake? Chat. I've heard the, the Quidditch teams go all out for this kind of thing. Ask. Does this mean classes are cancelled? Talk. Everyone's quite excited, it seems. Take note. The Holy, the Holy Head Harpies are coming here to show off their special skills. Discuss. It's tempting, but I, I'd better not pull any pranks once all the players arrive. Why not? Laugh. I'm not sure what we're talking about, but it sounds great. Here. One of the greatest Quidditch teams of all time is coming to Hogwarts. Understand. Hogwarts is holding a special Quidditch exhibit, exhibition. Featuring, featuring Agnock Jones. Smile. There we go. Everyone's talking at once. I can't hear. Yeah, nobody cares. Blimey, the Holly Hollyhead Harpies are heading to, are coming to Hogwarts for a special exhibition. Yes, their most impressive players will showcase their rare talents and spectacular maneuvers. Of course, my favorite team. It's the pride of Porty, Portry, but Hollyhead has some of Quidditch, Quidditch's best, like Agnock Jones. Agnock Jones, we haven't seen her since she helped us plan the relay and save the Dragon Club. Wait, what? Helped us plan the relay and save the Dragon Club? Yes, we have. Wasn't that a? Well, wasn't there that new adventure with the, the quizzes and whatnot? To see if the younger students or older students were better, apparently. But whatever. For someone so new to the league, she's already one of the greats. This is our opportunity to see all her skills. Exhibition like this are a right spectac spectacle, but they're also a, a, ch a chance to study new maneuvers. Plus, my we might. Even be lucky enough to talk to a few of the players. 
I'm starting to understand why everyone's so excited. Exactly, but what about you? What are you most excited for? Enjoying the spectacle, studying maneuvers, or or talking to Quidditch players? Uh, enjoy the spectacle, talk to the famous Quidditch players, or studying new maneuvers. Yeah, I don't care about the players, and uh, I don't care about the spectacle or whatever. I'll go with the maneuvers, I guess. I'm excited excited to study whatever new moves the league's the league's best Quidditch players come up with. Lucky for me, my parents sent me two VIP passes. I'll have a great view of each move. Plus, I'll I'll get to meet up with the the players after the game. And I'd like you to join me. Uh, please don't. Merlin's beard. You want me to sit with you to the V. With you and the VIP in the VIP VIP sex section, oh my goodness. Of course, you've been a good friend to me all these years. Actually, I disagree. I've been the worst because I, I don't care about you. Um, no, thank you, Andrew Thousand. I'd hate that. I'd hate to. I mean, brilliant. The exhibition starts soon, so we'd better hurry. Also, what about the rest? Like one cent until. Pull up the flower. I don't care about the others. What about them? I just need to pick up, pick out my outfit first. I'll let you know when I'm ready, and we can meet at the VIP seats in the Quidditch stands. Yeah, whatever. Meet under the dozen. It's done. See the exhibition. You'd better hurry to the Quidditch pitch. The exhibition has begun. Also, that task felt like forever. Commentary box. See the exhibition. This is gonna. Yeah, this is the. Uh, this is a new place. I've never been here before. Yet, at least. Very cool. So there's a uh, Dumbledore, um, McGonagall. That's her name. And then uh, I don't know who that is. That other other old man that looks like he's dying as well. Professor McGonagall first. Down in front, the exhibition is soon to begin. Then a uh, wizard. Oh, he's just a wizard? Oh, wow. I actually thought he was somebody else. Like a, a main character, I guess. I want these... I want these VIP tickets from a call-in radio program. And I'm just so happy. I've never won anything in my life. Yeah, nobody cares. Now for Dumbledore. I've always... I'm always curious to see what... What new maneuvers these... Sprightly Quidditch players come up with. He just wants to watch them because he's a pervert. I'm kidding. Reserved? For who? One cent, maybe? Hi, Father. I'm so sorry I made us late for the Quidditch exhibition. Uh. I had to pick out the perfect outfit, and it took much longer than I expected. He looks awful. Uh. But there's still lots of spectacular players to see. You can't beat the, these seats, Andre Dawson. Thanks for sharing your VIP passes with me. You say you were hoping to study new maneuvers. Our seats will give you the best view in, this, in the house. Ah. I can even see the, the beads of sweat on the, on the harpy's forehead. <laughs> Why do we want to see that? There's eggnog. That's no average harpy, Andre Dawson. That's eggnog Jones. Ah. You're right, and it looks like she's up next. I'm so glad we didn't miss her. She never disappoints. Quick, she's about to start. It's time to enjoy the show. Okay. Um, is she there at all? No, I guess not. Three hours. Enjoy the exhibition. Okay, I actually don't want to look at her. Ooh, uh, agree. If I if we did if we didn't know there was an empty seat, we could have brought another friend. Yes, one cent. Here. It's quite inspiring. Over here. Are you ready for this? No. Take note. Even though Dumbledore can't look away. Because he wants her. Talk. I've never seen the stadium at Hogwarts so crowded. Notice. Blimey, look how fast they fly. They is her, is her pron pronouns they is that why? Uh, discuss. 
As far as the Holly Harpy go, Harpy, Holly had Harpies go. Agnog Jones is my favorite. Observe. It looks like Agnog, Agnog's gearing up for her big moment. Nod. Agnog, Agnog plays with both power and grace. It's quite admir admirable. Wonder. I wonder whose seat that is. They're missing the whole show. Note. The seat seems to be reserved, but for who? Ask. How odd. Who would reserve a seat only to miss Agnog Jones? Probably somebody that hates her. Agree. If we'd know there were there was an empty seat, we could have brought another friend. Over here. Are y'all ready for this? No, we're not. Take note. Even though Dumbledore can't look away. Here. It's quite inspiring. Discuss. As far as the Hallyhead Harpies go, Agnog Jones is my favorite. Observe. Looks like Agnog's gearing up for her big moment. Okay, the same thing. Talk. There. At last. I've never seen the stadium at Hogwarts so crowded. So that is it. She's doing some tricks. Trying to show off. Merlin's wand. She opened with a starfish and a stick, but the rest was too fast to identify. Incredible. No wonder everyone turned out in droves. Every seat in the stadium is filled. It's really quite a turnout. Well, all of them except that one. Let's say it's reserved. Is that it? Uh. I was just noticing that myself. It looks like it's reserved. But who would reserve such a good seat at a Quidditch exhibit only to skip it? We could we could read a note attached attached and find out. Why not? Why doesn't he just pick it up himself? The note says reserved by Agnar Jones for the head of the Slug Club. This seat was reserved by Agnog Jones herself. Ah, the famous slug, slug Club. Have you heard of them, Father? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a old out of hours social club. I think it's a club of slugs. No, I have no. Yes, I'll go with that. The Slug Club. It sounds like a um, club for slugs. No, no. The Slug Club ha was an out of hours group of elite Hogwarts students. It was named after his former, its founder, former potions professor, Horace Slughorn, known for his lavish dinner parties. So this must be Slughorn's seat. Perhaps he's around here somewhere. Wait, didn't I said it was reserved for the Agnog Jones? I'm kind of confused now. Merlin's beard. I knew today was going to be special, but I had no idea just how special. What do you mean, Andrew the Thousand? Uh. Everyone in the Slug Club was a Howard student once. Slughorn formed it while he was here. Uh. If it's com comfort exhibition, it could mean big things for us, Cursebreaker. It could? Ha. Of course, almost every Slughorn member has gone on to be a prominent witch or wizard. Not only did they enjoy those lavish dinners, but become a member. But be, being a member seems to to pretty much a guaranteed success. Ah. And Slughorn handpicks each member of the Slughorn, uh, the Slug Club himself, based on his impressions of them. Are you are you saying you think of? Are you saying you think if we meet Slughorn, we might he might invite us to join the Slug Club? Aha. Think about it. You're one of the most impressed students. Impressive students at Hogwarts these days. Indeed, I am. And you have to admit, I stand out too. Both as a, both as a quid, both as a Quidditch player and a sheer and cheer style alone. No, you don't. I think it's fair to say we both have a shot. We just have to figure out where Slughorn is. I suppose we could be. He could be anywhere. He could be transfigured as a slug potentially. I would step on him, of course. But if Agnog Jones reserved his seat for him, perhaps he's gone somewhere to meet her. Oh. Of course. Ha. He's probably in the locker room, waiting for the team right now. If we hurry to the locker room, 
Perhaps Eknak will introduce us to Horan's Slughorn. Ah, oh, great. Do I just spend more time with him now? Visit the Slughorn. I mean, <laughs> visit the locker room. The locker room is open. Let's hurry and meet Eknak Jones. We've met her multiple times already. At least I have. Quidditch changing room. Visit the locker room. Are we going to see her change as well? Oh, they're okay. It, she's alone for some reason. Where's the other players? Ha! Huh. Huh. So there she is. Why is she so tall? Anyways. Look, father. We've made it just in time. There's Agnock Jones. Uh. I wonder if she'll remember us. Huh. And we were right. And Slug and Horn Slughorn's here, too. That's our chance to make a good impression. We'll see. For now, I only see Agnog. She's gonna recognize me, not... Okay, she does recognize 3000, I guess. Hello there, Mr. 3000 and Mr. Atkins. Break any statues lately? I, I've broken faces, not statues. We've been trying to be a bit more careful. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't. We're, ho we're huge fans. We were a little late to the exhibition, but we arrived in time to see you. Glad you hear it. I've been working on the ad combination for a long time. From where we were seated, it looked effortless. It takes a lot of effort to seem that effortless. But that reminds me, if you were in the VIP seats, you must have been seated near Professor Slughorn. Well, we saw the seat you res reserved for him, but he wasn't in it. Actually, we thought we'd find him back here. That's what I was afraid of. I haven't seen him anywhere. I don't think he came. Afraid of? Do you mean something's wrong? I'm not sure, but I won't bother you with it. After all, you're here to have fun with the famous Eknock Jones. Uh, no, I'm not. Not listen to her. Not to listen to her nervous theories. It's alright, Eknock. You can tell us what's on your mind. No, you can't. Yeah, we're practically old friends by now. Your worry is our worry. Shut up, um, Andrew Thousand. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. To be honest, I'll be good. To, it'll be good to talk, talk it through with someone. I'm not sure what to to think. Yeah, whatever. Learn what's bothering Agnog. Uh, three hours. Probably because it's Christmas and um. Uh, a lot of people are drinking drinking her. Is that it? Alright. Speak. It's alright, Agnog. We're listening. Wait, actually... Damn it, I cannot see. What task this is? I think it's three, right? Listen. Professor Slughorn never misses a match. He's a huge Quidditch fan. Talk. I imagine being anxious about your old teacher makes your, your job even harder. Nod. I'm starting to worry a bit about my old potions, Professor. Here. Slughorn hasn't been back to Hogwarts in forever. I was certain he'd come today. Ask. If you're worried about Professor Slughorn, have you tried reaching out? Observe. The lockers have a unique smell. Prob probably sweat. Wonder. I wonder who cleans these. What the heck? I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how I did that. Chat. It's odd. It's odd. Professor Slughorn has in sent word. Sent a word, I guess. Speak. It's all right, Agnog. We're listening. No, we're not. Listen. Professor Slughorn never misses a match. He's a huge Quidditch fan. Talk. Okay, same thing. Discuss. If you're sub upset, perhaps we can do something about it. No, we can't. Not. Yeah, it's the same thing. Observe. S wonder. Chat. Speak. What? I mean, talk. I imagine being anxious about your old teacher makes your job even harder. For some reason. Perhaps now you can understand why I'm worried. Slughorn never misses a match. After years away, I was sure he'd be thrilled to visit Hogwarts again. But perhaps I'm overthinking it. What do you say, Ekans? 
Should we, I, we, should I be worried? I'm sure he's fine. It is a bit odd he didn't come. To be honest, I don't care. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Agnog, he's a powerful wizard after all. Um, I, I wouldn't know about that. That's true. I appreciate your... Rosy? Rosy or Rosy? Your rosy outlook. I just wish I knew for certain that he was alright. I'd like to check, on, check in on him. But I have another exhibition. Perhaps we can help. Stop offering help, especially when I'm included. We're no strangers to mystery, and father's a world-class curse breaker after all. Shut up. Honestly, if if there was any way to know Slughorn is alright, it would put my mind at ease. There's a chance he's perfectly fine, in which case I'm sure he'd be thrilled to meet you both. So it's win-win. It's a win-win. An unacceptable outcome in Quidditch, but a pre pretty decent one otherwise. Consider us on the case, Eggnog. How can we get started? I need to think about that a bit. It could get complicated. I'll tell you what. Give me some time to pack up, then meet, meet me on the Quidditch pitch. Together we'll figure, we'll figure out a plan to make sure everything's alright with Professor Slughorn. Yeah, whatever. So that is done. Talk to Agnog. I'm all done packing up. Meet me on, on the Quidditch pitch now. Let's see. Yeah, the, this is task 4 out of 4, so I'm about to finish part 1. So Quidditch pitch, talk to Agnog. Um, there's nobody there. So now what? Is she gonna ditch us? I can't believe the Agnog Jones wants our help! We can finally replay, repay her for saving us... For helping us save the Dragon Club. Huh. Plus now... Now that she's asked us to make sure Slughorn is, Slughorn is alright... We'll definitely get to meet him. When he hears all we've done to help him and Agnog, he's sure to invite us into the Slug Club, right? No, it's not guaranteed. Yes, we're in. Um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna upset him or disappoint him, whatever. Let's take things one step at a time. There's no guarantee we'll get in an invite. I suppose you're right. Best to keep our mind on the task at hand and hope for the best. Hope for the best. Ah. Speaking of which, here comes Eggnog. With no Eggnog. Cheers, you two. Thanks for agreeing to helping me figure out why Slughorn didn't come to our exhibition. If I didn't have another one to get to, I, I would look. I could look into it this myself. But I'll feel a little, a lot better. No one's almost checking in on him. We're happy to we're unhappy to help, Agnog. Especially after you after you helped us contain the rogue the rogue rogue is it rogue or rogue? Yeah, rogue I think. Contina uh, helped us contain that rogue blunder and restore the dragon club. Now tell us where we can find the slughorn and we'll come up with a plan to put your mind at ease. Okay, so let's see. Three hours. Devise a plan. Yeah, whatever. So this is task four out of four, for part one. Here, I send an owl by Slughorn's parent. An owl by Slughorn's parents' house. I don't get to read the rest. Discuss. Anything you need, Agnog. Speak. You can count on us. Count on us, Agnog. We just need a bit more information over here. Oh my goodness. There we go. It's probably not the best time to ask for an autograph, is it? Shut up, Andrew doesn't. Ask. Where does Slug... Oh wait, that's me? Where does Slughorn live? Comprehend. Slughorn hasn't had a place of his own since he left Hogwarts. So he's homeless? Understand. I know a Slug Club member with connections at the Ministry. 
Listen, I'm not ex exactly sure where Slughorn is. Not. I thought of someone. I thought of someone who might be able to help us. Take note. I think I know the best way to proceed. Discuss. Anything, anything you need, Agnog? Speak. You can count on us, Agnog. We just need a bit more information. Over here. Okay, same thing. Over here. I sent an owl by Slughorn's parents' house, but I came back unanswered. Ask. Where does Slughorn live? Comprehend. Same thing. Understand. And there. I, I know a Slug Club member with connections, connections at the Ministry. Alright, since you don't know where Slughorn, Slughorn is at the moment, our first step will be tracking him down. If you know an old Slug Club member with connections at the Ministry, perhaps he can help us. I'm sure he can. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he's quite powerful, and he know what to do if, he, if there's trouble. If you trust him to help us, we'll be we'll be happy to meet him. Huh. Yeah, just point us to the, in the right direction and we'll get started. I have to say, I'm glad you feel that way. Not everyone's that excited at the idea of team, teaming up with Lucius Malfoy. I had a, I had a feeling it was going to be him. Lucius Malfoy isn't that isn't that bloke a bit of a blockhead? He misplaced his wand at the Hogwarts once and he was quite rude to both Dumbledore and Dobby about it. You really think he can help us? Lucius holds significant influence with many important witches and wizards. He'll know how to find Slughorn if, Slughor Slough if Slughorn's to be found. If you think he can help us find Slughorn, we'll be unhappy to help. Talk to Malfoy. Brilliant, but before you do, you should come up with a strategy, strategy, strategy of approach. Lucius can be a bit delicate. Come on too strong and he may shy away. That's a good point. I've seen his short fuse firsthand. Before you talk to Lucius, you might want to talk to someone who knows him better than I do. Wow. That way you get a few... You can you can get a few pointers. All right, but who would that be? When Lucius was a student here, there was a young boy, quite good at potions, who was uh, obsessed with him. If you want to know, if you want, if you want to know how to approach Lucius, you should go t talk to Severus Snape. Oh wow! He'll tell you what you n need to know. Um, I think Snape is worse. Part 1 complete. Part 2. With the help of Lucius Malfoy, you find your journey taken an unex you find your journey taking an unexpected turn. Yeah, whatever. So I have to talk to Snape now. Okay, cool. Nine energies. Very nice. Talk to Agnog is done. Talk to Snape. If you want to talk, let's get it over over with quickly. Alright, so time to talk to Snape about whatever we talk. Professor, I was hoping you and I could have a word and a fist fight. I'm quite busy preparing for no my next class seconds due to the un incompetence of your cohort. I have to plan a review of what couldn't be a simpler portion. But if one ingredient is off, shrinking solution can be quite poisonous and you lot seem to have a death wish. I only need a bit of advice, sir. Agnog Jones asked me to talk to Lucius Malfoy on her behalf. I've met him before, but it wasn't the most it wasn't the most pleasant of inter interactions. Eknog suggested I talk to someone who knows him well, so I can figure out the best way to approach him. I heard the two of you were close. That was certainly good advice from Miss Jones. Luch, Luches and I were close enough for me to know 
It wasn't like you went cut forth with him on your own. Then will you help me? Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm busy. Then perhaps I could help you first. While I, while I do, you could tell me a bit about Lucius Malfoy. I suppose I could make you fetch me ingredient. At least then you beat out of my way. I can do that. That remains, that remains to be seen. But if you don't screw this up, I might be able to give a bit of advice on how to approach Luchus. Also, is the reason why he knows Luchus or close, is close to him because they both joined the Death Eaters or whatever? Fetch ingredients, three hours. You know, the evil side. Is that it? Okay. Ask. Is there anything specific I should or shouldn't say when talking to Luchus? Nod. Hurry up with that rat spleen. Sniff. Where are my peeled shiver figs? Shrivel figs? Up your butt. Lift. <laughs> Just let me know when you want this. Focus. I'll need the leech juice in just a moment. Learn. Lucius is a very accomplished wizard as such. He appreciates a compliment. Wonder. Have I ever accident accidentally made poison instead of shrinking pot solution? I hope so. Study. I have no idea what that is. Ask. Is there anything specific I should add, I should or shouldn't say when talking to Lucius? Listen. Lucius holds no truck with fools. Understand. With Lucius, be brief, but don't be curt. Here. I'm not practicing. I'm testing a new recipe that, may, that even you couldn't. I didn't, I, I didn't see what I said, the last word. Nod. Hurry up with that rat spleen. Lift. Just let me know when you want this. Focus. I'll need a leech juice in just a moment. Learn. Okay, same thing. Wonder. There are five stars. Have I ever accidentally made poison instead of shrinking solution? It sounds like the best way to approach Lucius is to be brief, direct, and com complimentary. Are you still babbling on about on about Lucius? We're finished here. Go on. But I'm not sure where to go. Perhaps you you know where I might find Lucius. Why is he smiling a lot? Of course I do. But before I send an underachieving student to somebody as busy as Lucius Malfoy, I must know why is it so important for you to find him. I want to help Agnog. It's important to other doesn't. Yeah, I don't care about him. I want to meet Slughorn. Um, I actually don't care about either of them. Any of them, basically. I'll just go with this one, I guess. The truth is, Agnog is hoping Lucius might be able to help us track down Horace, Horace Lughorn. After hearing so much about the Slug Club, I'm quite excited to meet him. I'm sure I don't know what you expect from Horace Slughorn, but I'll tell you where to find Lucius if only to end this conversation as quickly as possible. Lucius can often be found in Diagon Alley. When he's not at home, he likes to visit the shops there. Brilliant. Now go on. Of course, and no thank you, sir. I'm off to Diagon Alley to look for Lucius Malfoy, you idiot. So there I'm gone. Well, not yet, I guess. Go to Diagon Alley. I'm ready. Let's head to Diagon Alley and find find Lucius. So, um, why didn't he? Was he? Why wasn't he there with me? But uh, to be honest, I don't care. Diagon Alley. 
Also, when he said Diagon Alley, for some reason, I thought of. I th I started I st um I thought of what what's it called again, Hogsmeade. I thought they they were mentioning Hogsmeade for some reason. Anyways, Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley is the uh, more darker place, I guess. Oh, there he is, Lucius. First, let's see. Who's this? Uh, wizard. I'd like to be alone with my thoughts, so leave me. You're the one who has a comment box. Not my fault. There's Dobby. Dobby must attend to the packages, sir. He mustn't be caught chatting, sir. Wow. So I see an owl right there. Which? Children must be the, the start of the school year again. Or are you playing hooky? Uh, yeah, definitely not with Andre Dawson. I wish it was one cent there. I would have said yes. Oh, a cat. There's a cat's burr. Very cute. No, thank... I mean, thanks for talking to the prof the prof talking to Professor Snape for us, Curse Breaker. You know I like to avoid it whenever I can. Yeah, nobody cares. Now that we know how to approach Luchis, we can find out where Slughorn is and make sure make sure he's all right. We just need to be brief and wa work in a compliment when when we can. According to Snape, that should do it. Then we can learn about. We can learn why Slughorn missed the exhibition at Hogwarts and report back to Agnog. We're sure to get an invite into the Slughorn for our trouble. Perhaps, but f perhaps, but for now, it looks like Professor Snape was right. Here comes Lucius, Malfoy, and Dobby. Yeah, there they are. Mr. Malfoy, can we have a word? Oh, oh, look, it's it's for. Oh well, look, it's Father Atkins. Hide your wands, everyone. Don't want them to go missing. You left that one in the courtyard, and you know it. Perhaps, or perhaps that was a convenient cover story for for a dishonest thief. Only time will tell. Now, if you're done wasting my time, I'll be on my way. Wait, Agnar Jones sent us to ask you something important. We're fans of yours, and we just wanted to have a brief word. No, we're not. Fans. I suppose I do have a moment. But, is he smiling? That actually looks very weird. But I find it hard to believe Miss Jones would associate with students of your unremarkable reputation. The truth is, she said only a wizard as powerful and connected as you could help us find Horan Slughorn. I see, and what, what would two young Howard students want, want with Horace Slughorn? Perhaps you hope to pester him about the slug, slug club, like so many of the un, uninitiated. This lesson about the slug club, I'm interested in the slug club. Um, sure, why not? I don't plan to pester, but I'm, of course I'm interested in the slug club. It was one of the most elite clubs at Hogwarts, after all. And don't forget those lavish dinners Slughorn likes to throw. I did just die to get an invite to one of those. I'm sure the two of you are bright enough to understand. The Slug Club is an extremely exclusive society. Only Hogwarts' best and brightest are invited. It doesn't befit young students to go begging for in inclusion in a society... In societies that have not ex expressed interest. Are you saying we don't have a chance a chance of being invited to join the slug club? I'm saying you must you might spare yourself the dis you might spare yourself the disappointment and leave Professor Slughorn alone. With all the all due respect, we'll leave the decision to Professor Slughorn. If he won't help us find him, we'll do it. We'll do so on our own. Fine, if you insist, insist on wasting his time, I'd be delighted to help you on your way. You would? 
Of course, listen closely, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Um, can I don't trust him? Also, Bob is like holding something and being ignored. Learn Slughorn's whereabouts. Three hours. Okay. Nothing over there. Nothing there. Then there's the little cat spur over there. Speak. We hear Slughorn can be quite hard to find. Chat. Next up, wherever Slughorn is. Over here. Dobby must focus on the packages. Don't drop the packages. Talk. Hello there. Note. Those look quite heavy. Listen. Most days, you'll find Slughorn at his favorite restaurant. Um, here. With your help, Luchis will find Slughorn in no time. Discuss. Horus... Horus Lockhorn has fairly reliable habits. Learn. The Laughing Bur Burrow is a small hidden gem of a restaurant. Understand. Professor Slughorn often dines at the Laughing Burrow. Speak. We heard that Slughorn can be quite hard to find. Chat. Okay, same thing. Listen. Hear. Um, discuss. Learn. And there. The Laughing Burrow is a small hidden gem of a restaurant. So now you know where to find his Professor Slughorn. Since he spends most of his, most of his time at the Laughing Burrow, you'll likely to meet him there. But I've never heard of a restaurant called the Laughing Burrow. Perhaps you know it by its nickname. Many patrons call it the Burrow for short. Ah yes! That sounds more familiar. Oh, well, it's literally just one word of a difference. It's quite a trendy spot, very discreet. If you hurry, I'm sure you'll find Slughorn there preparing for his next meal. In fact, I'll give you a pinch, a pinch of flu powder, and you can use the chimney in the leaky cauldron to travel. Feel free to mention my name, and I'm sure the bartender will ob ob oblige. Brilliant. Thanks, Mr. Malfoy. Don't you have anything to say, Mr. Atkins? Not to you, no. Thanks for your help. The name of that suspicious restaurant is suspicious. The name of that restaurant is suspicious. Um, I'll just go with the middle one. I have nothing to say to you, no. How unfortunate. You, they don't teach adequate at Hogwarts. Though I suppose grace is a quality that can't be taught, as pr pr presence has more to do with nature than, than nurture. Now you two better hurry along. I'm sure you don't want to miss Horrence. I think he gave us a, a, a wrong place, right? Thanks, Lucius. We have a lead on Hor Horace Lughorn's collocation. Let's so let's hop to it. Let's head to the Leaky Cauldron now and use their chimney to travel to the founder of the Slug, slug Club. I have a feeling it's going to take us to the wrong place. Oh wow, I have to wait four hours. Actually, I don't mind. Visit the Leaky Cauldron. You'll want to meet at the... You'll want to arrive at the Leaky Cauldron at the perfect moment. Don't rush. Yeah, whatever. I don't mind having to wait four hours. Let's see. That is... Task 3 out of 4, so I need 2 more tasks for part 2. That's fine. Let's see, I have 163 tokens for the carnival, so I'm gonna go do that quickly. I'm hoping to get all the rewards already. So, Hogs made. No, not there. There we go. Festival grounds. Actually, I wanna check if the uh, free. Tickets are there? No, they're not. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna play focus. I have like 600 something, so I need like either 400 or like 300 something left. Maybe I should, I might be able to get them right now. That would be nice. So that's one. That's two.
if I get all the rewards right now, that'll be very cool. That way I don't have to do any more. Like I don't have to um, wait to, to get it later in the day. So I think I have less than a hundred tickets now, or tokens, I mean. 300, I mean 103, yeah, okay. So let's see, that makes 30. I should have like seven more attempts. Well, six now, I think. Oh no, actually, yeah, six in total. How many tickets do I have? I have 792. Hmm. Will I be able to get a thousand? I don't know. Right now it's going to be 800 and something. Yeah, 816. I'm run running out of the tokens. I have 43 left. So I think I can only do two more and that's it. So one more after this one. I have 888. 38. Cool. Um, so, I think I, want, I know what I'm going to do quickly. Since I do need study sessions, I'm going to do those. So, I'm going to go Magical Care of Medical Creatures, Herbology class. Yeah, I'll go with the Care of Medical Creatures first. Um, oh, the next clue is ready. I kind of forgot. What is it? You may know me as Classroom 1B. Oh, great. I got it wrong last time. I think it was 1E, and I chose Transfiguration's Classroom, and it was Charm's Classroom. So I think 1B must be Charm Transfiguration's. That's where I better be correct. I don't feel like searching it right now. So if I get it wrong, I get it wrong. 1B. Alright. If only I said like 1B right there. Would have been nice. Alright, uh, study sessions. So I'm gonna try to get all 9 stars. So I'm gonna do them by 3s. I'm just gonna skip the text. Talk to Charlie by my fingers first. I think I didn't do this one before, but whatever. It's too late to start now, damn it. There, that's one star. Ten empathy. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> what dragon? What dragon is not na native to Britain? Chinese fireball, I guess. Yeah, because he's literally Chinese. Says it in the name, literally. So cool. There, I got it right. Ten courage points. What's next? Asses, Merlabs, needs. With, with your ass. Okay, what the heck? Oh, seriously, it has to take this long for them to go around him. So pointless for no reason. Soothe, make, make note. Um, do I have to click on her? Over here, 
ask there. I'll go with an energy. Aha! Okay, hurry up. It takes so long for no reason. Find Merlap food. Okay. Let's see. So, sift. Look around. Ask Ismelda. Ask. Chat. And there. So that's three stars. It took so long just to get the three stars. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> I don't know why he has to do that. It's funny though. Where did I take out the food from? Do we really have to see him eat? Also, how come they don't give sounds to other creatures? Like snifflers, I would love to hear a sniffler do uh, sniffler noises and whatnot. Okay, yeah, whatever. So that's one star once again. Fifteen empathy. When when was dragon breeding outlawed? Outlawed. 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 Is that how you pronounce it? Whatever. Um, how would I know? I'll go with the. With that one. Oh, wow. I got it wrong. Doesn't really matter. Oh, well, what are you gonna do about it? Asses, Mertlaps, Needs. I really don't like how it takes so long just to start the damn task. Come on, just freaking start. Do I really have to see them sit or stand, whatever? So damn annoying. Wasting my time for no reason. There's the most annoying thing they could do. Why do I keep getting 40 of courage? Can't focus. So there it is done. Find Merlap food. Okay, catch up. Handle food. Open. Look around. Check inside, ask, and that is done. Um, I'll take the gem. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. And now the uh, Mert lap is gonna make some noise. Makes me want to kick him. Alright, that is it. Did I get? Yeah, I did. I got carnival tokens as well. So that's good. Alright, one last one. I just want to get, get it over with already. Talk to Charlie by my finger, yeah, whatever. Discuss, gather, mention, chuckle. Fifteen, uh, knowledge. Ooh. Ooh. Chinese fireball. A very easy answer. Ok, 
Okay, Asses Merlaps needs. This is very annoying. They really need to add a skip button. Why do I have to watch them appear around the Merlap? Nobody cares. Just start the damn task ready. My goodness. Ask. Listen. Discuss. Wonder. Nod. And there. 15 empathy. Oh ho! I want to break his other hand. Oh, I wish I could just rip it off. So he's handless. Find Murlap food. Alright, let's see. Check inside. Open. Over here. Look around. Um, keep clear. And that's it. Finally done. One gem again. So that's two in total. <gasps> it's always funny when he does that. So, um, finally done with the study sessions for the uh. Magical creatures one. Shut up. I saved twelve energies with the bonus pro progress you earned during during the um, study spree, story spree, whatever. Yeah, whatever. So there, that's done. For uh, the uh, stre streeler, streeler. Now, do I have enough tokens? 49. That gets me to do two more. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'll do these study sessions for Herbology. Maybe I'll, I'll do all of them. Maybe I won't. Good to see you. Good to see you. Three hours. Sort box contents. The reason why I did... Herbology last is because one cent is here. Discuss. Where should we start? Oh, okay, yeah. Examine. Consider. Worry. And there. 40. Knowledge. Uh, sorts of this agonist. Okay, whatever. So I have to organize. This one is very easy. And here, 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 and there. Brilliant. I'm very good. She's happy with me. She should give me a kiss on a cheek at least. Water plants. Huh. Alright. Remember, joke, talk chat and there oh a dozen coins yes so I should get 3,000 now I mean 30,000 father let's see let's see you watering let's see your watering technique water plants can I water her as well or her bush What is she looking at? She's like looking around something. Makes no sense. Looks like she's doing like the uh I didn't see anything thing. <laughs> Asses uh flitter blooms nests, I think is what it said. Needs I actually. Look. Asses. Study. Let's read. Asses again. Potentially one sense ass. Alright, 15. Empathy. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Focus. That one is very easy. Mm -hmm. 
and all I do is just water it. So there, that's three stars. Splendid! So six more, so leave and start it again. No, not that. Don't forget your dragon hide gloves. Shut up. Stop talking. She has an annoying voice. I think. Joke. Examine. Determine. There we go. 40 knowledge. Hmm. Would be nice if I was able to level up right now. Okay, so right here, right there. That one there, that one there, that one there. These two here. Very easy. She's happy with me once again. Water plants. Okay, joke. Observe. Joke. Notice. And that's it. Ten. Courage. Oh nice, uh, my empathy is at 39 now. I just realized that. So I need to get knowledge to 39 as well. I'm very close to getting to 40. Okay, it's taking a while to water the damn plants. Come on, hurry up. My goodness. Asses, flitter blooms needs. With my ass. Contemplate. Consider asses look consider well um wonder there empathy again so focus and there I'm done need very little left for knowledge would be nice if I level it level it up now so I'll do the last one and that's it Don't your dragon hide shut up stop talking stop that's what she sounds like chat think observe comment and there oh 15 Yes, 50 knowledge. There we go, level up. How come I showed it for knowledge and it didn't show it for empathy when I leveled up? Sort. I'm not quite sure why that happened. Anyways, there we go. Take that one there. Take all of those there. Very easy. On. All right, water plants. Once again. Gossip, talk, discuss, asses, and that is done. 40 knowledge, very nice. Water plants. Actually, it takes a while for the watering. Why not just show him water once like that and then that's it? Why does he have to show like 50 seconds of this? What's the point? What do I benefit from this? Come on, hurry up. On to the next. Asses, Flutter Blooms, Needs. Contemplate. Examine, touch, check index, index finger, I'll go with the energy. Mm -hmm. 
focus and there I'm done finally so I think I should be able to get all the the prices since I have a, a good amount of tokens now yes whatever shut up okay so that's that's it so for the uh, the, the story mode all I have to do is the the tasks next whenever I get to it so um yeah, I have to go to Hogsmeade. I think I have enough tickets. I mean, tokens to get all the tickets now. At least I hope so. Right here. Please tell me I have enough. I just want to get all the rewards right now. So I don't have to I don't have to do it later in the day. Should be able to do it. Let me see, 30, 30, four more times. I really wish they increased the um, the amount from from um, twenty four to thirty would be better. Yes, I should be able to get all the the talk the uh the tickets now. So after this one, one more. I was at nine hundred and sixty, so yeah, one more. And I got all the rewards. Which I, I think I kinda forgot to show the rewards, but um I guess I'll show I'm going to show them regardless right now. All the rewards I got. So a thousand there. I got everything. So uh, right here. Collect everything. Skip. So I think these are the... Oh, I, can, I cannot click on them, seriously. Whatever. Collect. There we go. So first off is this one right here. There's the uh, a new item that gives you energy when you click on it. Which makes no sense when I can I even put more items in my secret house or room. Anyways, there's um furniture, which I think is the furniture that was missing from the previous carnival prices. So I think it's the full set now, I'm assuming. I'm actually not quite sure, but I guess I'll find out in a bit. Ooh, and I have some chocolate frogs. Hopefully some bonuses. I guess not. Alright, secret clubhouse. Which one do I want to get rid of? I'm not quite sure. Which one looks the least impressive, I guess? That will be the question. I guess I'll take out the this flower thingy. So I'm going to put that one. That actually looks very cool. So it gives energy. Yeah. I really hope at some point they add more space. At least for me. Right, dormitory. So, um... Let's see. So this is the new ones, I guess. New... Let me see. Did I get something? Is this supposed to be Christmas? I think no, this one is the Christmas one. Right. Um, not quite sure to be honest. Yeah, I remember that one is the Christmas one. I think, if I if I remember correctly, this one is Christmas. This one is Christmas. This one is the Christmas. This one is no, that doesn't look like Christmas. It looks more like Valentine's maybe. Christmas, Christmas. Which one is Christmas? Is this one Christmas? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's either this one or this one. This one looks a lot like Christmas, but at the same time, it also looks like it could be like the other set that's not Christmas. Uh, what else am I missing? Put that, that there. That one is done. Is that it? Okay. 
Um, yeah, I think that is the full set. Yeah, that doesn't look Christmassy, does it? The, uh, where the, where, uh, Squeakums is at? Okay, let me, let me check again. Wait, what? No, none of that. Let me see. <clears throat> Um, it's very hard to tell, to be honest, which one is Christmas. I really don't have an, an idea which one is which, for, for which one. Do you add names to the sets, or like, I don't know, put a, a new, like, segment, not segment, a, a new section right here, like a third section that says sets together in one not? That would be so much better. But yeah, I guess it goes like that. This is the whole set. The Christmas set, I would assume. Looks nice, I guess. I like the chair with Catspur and the little snowman. And I like this one right here. Where the coffee or the, the tea the teacup is at. Very cool looking. Uh, that is it. So th that is pretty much it. I will be back later in the day. Oh, I'll collect this quickly. I'll be back l back later in the day to continue with the next two tasks. And then when once I finish that, I'll move on to the next video for part three and four. Okay, cool. I should be able to get the last... Well, not the last reward, but the this one right here. This enchantment charm. And then I don't know what the last reward is. Maybe I'll find out. Which will be cool, I guess. But uh, that is it for now. I'll be back later in the day. Now to continue the next task. I believe it's been way more than two days. I'm not quite sure. There's a day and two hours left. So visit the Leaky Cauldron. That is task three out of four for part two. Kind of forgot what, what was happening. Like, why am I here? Um, Andre Dawson is right there. And... Um, yeah, I totally forgot what's the reason why we're here. Anyways, I'll click on this guy first. Diagon Alley Wizard. Are you taking orders? Can I get a little help? No, you cannot. Then this woman, I believe. Patron. Everyone's so impatient, but I'm happy to wait. Good, then wait forever. Then Diagon Alley Witch. What a witch got to do to get a drink around here? Uh, probably get on your knees. Not for me, at least. Alright. That is it. Blimey, this place is packed. Huh. You're right. Let's find the bartender and get permission to use their chimney fast. Huh. Then we can travel travel to the Laughing Burrow, Burrow and find Slughorn before he's gone. Oh, and I remember. Um, What was it? His name? Lucius told us to come here to to go to the chimney or whatever to use it to teleport and such excuse me sir we were wondering if not now too busy to talk uh. oh we'll be out of your way in no time sir we only wanted to ask hmm I said too busy to talk but for some reason you're still talking Luches Malfoy sent us oh he did did he Hmm. In that case, I've got half a second for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> half a second. I recommend using that... That time to persuade me that I should bother listen to you, listening to you. But how can we persuade you if you want to listen to us? Comp good point. Here's an idea. Try taking a few s food orders and clearing a few tables. Then... When there's less to do, maybe we can talk. So work for free? Who does that? What, what other places do that? Or, um, I don't know, restaurants or whatever. Like, oh yeah, just work for free for a while and then uh, we'll talk, whatever. Help the bartender. How about I spill every drink and eat every food he gives? He won't know. As long as he doesn't see, of course. Um, laugh. Ah, the glorious life of a wizard. 
over here. This service here is has improved lately. Happy to, to see it. Discuss. I'll clear the, clear the tables if you take the orders. Oh, actually, I am now noticing I have a little notebook and a feather to write with. All right. Um. Not. Can I get a little help, please? No, you cannot. Greet. Good day. Have you had a chance to look at the menu? You very old man. Wonder. How do these get so dirty? By being used? Ignore. Hurry up! These order these people won't serve themselves. How about you serve them? Um, help. Hundred thousand. Can you grab those? Yeah, you better. Laugh. Ah, the glorious life of a wizard. Okay, wonder. How do these get so dirty? Okay, it's the same thing. Discuss. I clear it. I clear the tables if you take the orders. Nod. Can I get a little help, please? Take orders. What can I get you? What can I get you? Yeah, clarify. How many waters was that again? He's probably not trying to pay. That's why he's getting waters. Ignore. There are five stars. I mean, yeah, five stars. Hurry up. These people won't serve themselves. How about they do? You could open it as a... Um, as a buffet instead. Nice job, you two. Things seem to be under control. Now, you were saying something about get wanting to say something. Yes, Lucius Malfoy told us we could use your fireplace to travel to a place called the Laughing Burrow. Huh. Or the Burrow for short. Hmm. What is it, sir? Just never heard of a restaurant by that name. But it's not like I can keep track of every restaurant in England. I barely have to t I barely have time to buzz my own tables. Now you can use my fireplace if you must, but you better hurry up before I change my mind. Huh. Also, why didn't we just enter and look for the fireplace ourselves instead of asking? You heard a man curse breaker into the, into the fireplace. Mm. At this point, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. But it's not like we have any other leads. I suppose you're right. We'll stick, we'll stick together, keep our guards up, and hope for the best. <laughs> and with just a pinch of flu powder, it's time to travel to the burrow. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Imagine we burn to death by, by accident. <laughs> or maybe under a thousand. <clears throat> we just die. <laughs> the, the screen right now says... Rest in peace and our names and dates and whatever. Hmm, how strange. Wasn't well, that the Weasley's house, I think? Potentially. Kind of looks like it. Oh, yes, it is. The burrow looks just like the burrow. That's because it is the burrow. Under 3000, you idiot. <laughs> and there's uh, the mom. Also, isn't that dangerous? Being able to do that and go into anybody's or, you know, people's actual houses that have a fireplace. Anybody's houses, basically. Like, anybody could enter there. We just we were literally at a restaurant, used the powder thing, and um, appeared at the Weasley's house. Anybody could enter that way, I would assume. Father, what are you doing here? We've been looking for Horan Slughorn on behalf of Agnog Jones. Lucius, Ma Lucius Malfoy told us we'd find him at a place called the Laughing Burrow. Oh, it's probably the Laughing Burrow, because, um, I don't know, he just doesn't like the Weasleys, potentially. He said the restaurant was called the Burrow, Burrow for short, but that's why he, we said when we used the flu, the flu power, powder. I've never heard of a place called the Laughing Burrow. But as I'm, sh I'm sure you've noticed, the nickname sounds as, as sounds an awful lot like the Burrow, which is precisely where you are. But I'm sa sad to say, if you're looking for Slughorn, this is probably the last place you'd, you'll find him. You'd find him. Really? Why's that, Miss Weasley? 
Slughorn was never a fan of mine or authors, which is fine because we we never were a fan of his. The same has always been true of Lucius, for that matter. A bit of a snob, if you ask me. But don't worry, I'll go check on the lit on the little ones upstairs. Then I can help you. Then I can help you get get you back to the to Hogwarts. Oh wow. Aren't we able to go to Hogwarts ourselves? I suppose I should have seen this coming. But it doesn't make any sense. Would Lucius send us here on purpose? And if if so, why? Uh. I think it's clear, clear what's going on. It is? Ah. Absolutely. I'll lay out my theory. Then we can tell... Then you can tell me what you think. Then we can decide what to do next. Yeah, whatever. Visit the Leaky Cauldron, okay. No pop up? Are you sure? Nothing came out. I guess it's because he's literally, literally in front of me. Also, I came here before the Golden Stars ended. There's 45 minutes left. I want to try to get the that main reward that I think is a spell. But yeah, I only have 45 minutes left. If I remember, I, w I left off at part like 6 maybe or 7. Yeah, I think 7 and 8 is next, which is which is going to give me that reward. Anyways, consider Andre Dawson's theory. Oh wow, 8 hours for this. Great. Alright. Uh, also, why is there no other Weasley around? So I'll click on myself first. Talk. Lucius did did seem eager to help after he asked us about the club, um, the club, the club what? The social club or whatever? Remember, Lucius didn't have many, many kind of words of, uh, for us. Note, at least the flu powder worked and there was no mess, messes made other than, uh, coming into somebody's house and we could have, uh, it could have been somebody else's house. Exclaim. I'm not sure what you think. Speak. It seems Lucius wanted us to travel here instead of of to wherever oh my goodness, I got stuck. Anyways, observe. I'm glad there was someone home when we arrived. Talk. Lucius did seem eager to help help after we asked about the slug club. There we go. Remember. Lucius didn't have many kind word words for us. Note. At least the flu powder worked and there was no messes made. Exclaim. I'm not sure what you think. Speak. It seems Lucius wanted us to travel here instead of to wherever Slughorn is. There we go. Now I read it better. Observe. Okay, same thing. Talk. Remember. Note. Remember. When Lucius heard I was interested in the Slug Club, his attitude changed. Think. Lucius... Lucius never meant to help us. Discuss. Lucius wasn't going to help us until I said I was interested in the Slug Club. Consider. Clearly Lucius doesn't want us to meet Slughorn. Comprehend. Lucius dislikes us and the Weasleys both. He thinks he, we belong together. Consider. You heard Molly. There's no such thing as the Laughing Burrow. L here. Lucius is trying to keep us out of the slug club. Think about it. Nobody cares. Chat. Lucius clearly d didn't like the idea of us joining the slug club. Observe. I'm glad there was someone home when we arrived. Okay, same thing. Note. Remember. Think. Um, discuss. Consider. Comprehend. Consider. Hear. Okay, how much more? Exclaim. Speak. Talk, and there, finally. Lucius did seem eager to help after he asked us about the slug club. So you think Lucius sabotaged us because he doesn't want us to meet this, um, want us to meet Slughorn? Clearly, there's no such thing as the Laughing Pearl. He sent us here because he doesn't think we're good enough to join the slug club. To be honest, in a weird way, it's a compliment. How's that? It means that Lucius thinks we met Slughorn. If we met Slughorn, he 
we definitely get an invitation to join the slug club. That is a weird compliment. It seems to me that Lucius Tide attracted us because we're closer than ever to get an invitation. But what do you think? Do you agree Lucius sabotaged us to sabotage us so we couldn't get invited to the slug club? I disagree, it's not certain. I agree. Um I really don't care. And I don't wanna agree with Andrew Dawson, so I'm gonna go with the opposite. We don't know what happened, Andre doesn't, or why. It could have been an accident. Wow, I'm thinking that Lucius is actually being honest. Or if Lucius did sabotage us, it could have been it could have sabotaged us for an entirely different reason. I guess you're right, but we'd know for sh for certain if we could find Slughorn. Only now, Miss Weasley is sending us back to Hogwarts. At this rate, we'll never find Slughorn. We'll, we'll let down Eggnog, and we'll never get an invitation to the Slug Club. Not necessarily. But Cursebreaker, we're about to get sent back to school with no leads. That's true, but we might be able to find more answers back at Hogwarts than you think. Slughorn taught alongside our professors for years, before retiring. Uh, they must know him fairly well. Also, I said in Slughorn, I think the, um, that one teacher that Harry Potter in the movie um, met because of Dumb Dumbledore or something like that. That one old teacher. I mean, they're all old, but uh, I can kind of forgot how to describe him. But uh, anyways, perhaps one of them ha has seen, has some information that could point us to the right direction. Huh. Blimey, you're right. Huh. As soon as we get back to Hogwarts, let's find a professor who knew Slughorn well. I'm assuming Dumbledore. Perhaps he he even left them a forward, forwarding address. We could start with Professor Flitwick. He's always eager to help when he can. Ah. Brilliant. There's still hope. Ah. I'll write to Agnog and update her on our progress. We, You go talk to Professor Flitwick and let me know if you... If you learn anything that points to Slughorn's whereabouts. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Part 2 complete. Three gems and one chocolate frog. Part 3. After an unexpected detour, you and Andre Dawson seek help from a few familiar faces. You soon find yourselves back at on Slughorn's scent. Okay. So, one chocolate frog. Okay, cool. A bonus. Very nice. Ooh, uh, multiple bonuses. At least I think so. Okay, that will, one of them was a bonus. The other two weren't. Whatever. So that is done. Question Flitwick. I reach in my classroom. If you want to talk, I have a lesson soon. Yeah, you're going to have to wait. Um, No, not this. I wanted to click on here. Collect stars. Let's see. Oh, wow. Only two. How much more do I need then? I'm very close. 30 minutes. Is that going to be enough for me to do multiple um, tasks at once let me see um, I'm close to 920 so that's it's every star right yeah so that's one then 30 40 50 60 no wait uh, 30 40 50 60 that's 40 so five stars will get me to 960 right yeah I would and then for a oh while, wow, 1k, that's going to be more. 70, 80, 90, 1,000, 1,100. Oh. That is 1,100, right? 40. It's going to count by tens. So it's going to be 1,010, then 1,000. That's going to take a lot more stars. Why did it have to make it a thousand one hundred? Why not just a thousand? Seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. That would be a thousand. Then I have. I would have to get a thousand ten. A thousand twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. That's good. That's like ninety more. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna get it. Even if I hurry up and. I'm not going to be able to read like a 
like so fast like a robot I guess I'm not gonna get it because even though if I try to get it I would have to do one task that's gonna get me to 960 then um, another task to a thousand one hundred and I would have to do like two more task tasks before within 35 minutes basically I'm not gonna be able to do that that's too much reading very quickly and I don't read that quickly so well I guess I'll get it somehow uh, the, uh, the charm a counter a counter charm used to remove enchantments from its target I should have done this yesterday I was gonna record yesterday but um I just left it for today and now there's a uh, very little left and I'm not, go not gonna be able to do it also there's a uh, new magical milestones for the new years which again um happy new year guys because it's the new year it's literally January 1 now for 2024 where's the magical milestones all oh, right here yeah I can can show the other oh, I could show it it's like glittery glowy clothing it's um glitter glitterly glitter glitter glitterly glitter glittery yeah glittery gold um blazer or whatever that is and then all of this it doesn't look that great I don't really care but um once I lock all the rewards I could, I'll get it anyways I'll be back a little later later to complete part three and four since I still have a day and two hours and um yeah i'm not gonna be able to complete the collect stars unfortunately if only i had like an hour left i think i would be able to but anyways that is it i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching leave a like if you liked the video comment down below guys thanks or check out the video in the playlist above and i'll see you guys in the next video